Benjamin Purnell was born in Paducah, Kentucky in 1861. And he was born to a very destitute family at the time, uh, the beginning of the Civil War. Uh, they had no money to uh, basically raise their own kids. He was the seventh son in the family. And um, the story goes that uh, his father used to give fire and brimstone speeches around the campfire at night and uh, very powerful uh, sermons that he taught his kids. And the history shows that uh, Benjamin's oldest brother um, took him on kind of as his own son, basically, because uh, he was way down in the lineage of the family. And on his 14th birthday, his brother gave him a copy of the King James Bible and uh, to read out of. And Ben memorized it front and back. He had a photographic memory. And uh, he, he embraced that Bible like it was his whole world. And that's what got him the fuel started for his belief in God and Jesus and Christianity. And uh, he took off on the road as a 16 year old uh, young guy, very charismatic and highly intelligent person. Uh, and he wanted to be an itinerant preacher. So he, he had a covered preacher's wagon that he traveled throughout the South and into the Midwest with preaching what he said was the word of God. And he came across the teachings of uh, people that had come way back in the 1700s uh, of the same type of Christian Jezreelite faith. And uh, the first one being uh, Joanna Southcott, um, who started the faith. And then James Jezreel, John Rowe from Australia. But all these people laid the ground for the first through the sixth messengers, all preaching that the seventh and final messenger from God in this uh, lineage uh, of, of beliefs was gonna come to the new world. And of course we know the new world is America. Benjamin had been married before and the circumstance of his separation and divorce is still debated. And it just depends where you're coming from, how you're going to interpret all of that. He had a child by that first union. Uh, that child survived the two children that he had with Mary. Mm -hmm. 